before we all get the boot, I think we've been the wave the cars is into the pits. Oh, back again at the BBC. Tears welling in my eyes. No, not really. Actually, this used to be a location where we used to come when we couldn't think of anywhere else, you know, chucking boomerangs, racing cars, lots of marathons running around the block sort of thing. Um, it's quite exciting coming back, actually, because I'm coming back because there's uh, loads of scouts coming to the studio today, and me being chief scout, I'm supposed to uh, be in charge. I won't be, of course, but um, I think I'm going to have a little wander around the beam, see what I can find, see if uh, some old familiar faces, you know, see if everything's running in order. I know what they do have is fresh coffee, so I'm going to get one of them. BBC Canteen 2007, has anything changed? No, there's fresh bananas, there's the same old dull breakfast, no butter, too much cholesterol. Outside the Blue Peter Garden, there's a little bolt hole I used to come here and hide, and then used to find You can see they've built a nice new children's playground in the park over there. It's all rather predictably the same. Camera's fun. One thing that has changed, of course, is uh, the nice dressing rooms. Here I am at the TV centre, room 2112. Got a nice showbiz mirror, got a TV screen there. That was all my kit. I've been climbing in the mountains. Uh, but this is the bit I like best. Never did I ever come to do a Blue Peter. And was there such a luxurious bathroom? Look at that shower. Even the toilet is clean. It's fantastic. It wasn't like this in my day. It was much rougher. You had to suffer in my day. I'm very pleased to say that Ariel's still in pride of place up there. because. Uh, we also have this joke because he's got no clothes on. He's, he's dropped his underpants and he's looking for his underpants. <laughs> Studio 3's full of people. Studio 1, rehearsal. Let's go see what they're doing. Repeat the shit, look. The makeup. That's where you'd meet all the makeup girls who would put your makeup on. Let's go in, let's go in. Hello. You're being you? filmed. One, two, three, you're being filmed. Oh God, nice to see you again. See, there are some fixes and fittings that are still here. But they're still worthy. <laughs> These are the makeup girls. In my days, I used to get very excited about coming to makeup, I remember. When I was a young man. Well, we've turned you into one or two things in our time, haven't we? We have, yes. There isn't a part of you that I haven't seen. Do you want to, But you did. Yes, that's true, yes. So I'll be back later on. You can polish up my woggle, if you like. All right. You okay. don't need anything, really. Just no? Just a little bit there. Yes. There. I haven't aged at all, have I? No, no, no lifts required today. No. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Why are you changed this one? Well, yeah, you know, we've got the straighteners out today. <laughs> well, you're Dennis the Menace, aren't you? Of course I have. Oh, so I've sneaked in. I can see what they're doing. Normally I behave very badly in these situations, but uh, seeing your filming, I think I ought to be a good boy. The last thing current Blue Peter presenters want is old Blue Peter presenters turning up. It's a, it's a pain. They keep saying, why have they come back? Hello, chefs. As I told you before, I'm... Dandy. Hello. Hi. I'm sorry about it, officer. Please don't arrest me. <laughs> Have you ever dressed in this costume? <laughs> Not in that one in particular. No, it's Dandy, isn't it? It is Dandy. Yeah. See, you recognise it. Incredible. Yeah. We're in darkness. <laughs> I'm Dandy. <laughs> yeah. Who do you remember dressing up as? Well, I, I, I always try to do theatrical type things. So I was a bit of singing and playing. So I did. So I remember doing George Foreman because that's always gets repeated. When I'm cleaning windows. Uh, what? It's okay, let's check what you did. Red hours? No. One nil to get. Okay. I haven't done all the promotional things. No. Two nil, okay. Uh, tr tr well, truck racing. Truck racing. No, nope. three nil two. one. All right, I'll get one back on you. Okay, what about um, motorbikes? I've done a lot of motorbikes. Play football with Pele. <sighs> Six four. Um, <laughs> uh, clean the clock face of Big Ben. That's my right. first day in the job, that one. <laughs> Age wouldn't. before beauty. Great to see you. <laughs> it's one o'clock. My work. Time for lunch. It's a blue Peter office. I'm going to nip in there and see if I can find any badges lying around that nobody wants anymore. Nice ones with the sticky outfits. This is so good. <laughs> these are all, I know I'm number 11, but these are all the presenters uh, of all the years, right from the very start, from Christopher Trace going all the way through. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. I mean, it really puts it into sort of a kind of perspective, really. I mean, you can imagine that to get through all these presenters has taken nearly. I think it's the 49th year, so it's nearly 50 years of uh, being a Blue Peter presenter. Well, I have noticed there's a bit of a problem with mine up there. So is there anyone important about it? I don't think so. So I'm going to have to take it down. Take it back. I've got a bit of a red pen here. Take the cover off. Don't tell, me. Don't tell Richard the editor. Everyone's looking very concerned. I just do, I better do this properly because this is forever, isn't it? They won't know that's 2007, are they?
Thank you for such a lovely introduction. Peter, for all your hard work with the Scout, we believe that oh, you gosh. deserve the programme's oh. highest. Oh. Right. Thank you, Peter. Superb.